Welcome back to AlgaJS. Today's question is leak code 13, Roman to integer. So Roman numerals are represented by seven different symbols, I, V, X, L, C, D, and M, each with their respective value. Two can be written as two I's, 12 can be written as X, I, I, and 27 can be written as X, X, V, I, I, where we have two tens plus a five plus two, which is equal to 27. Now let's dive straight into the examples here. So we have three i's, which equates to three because the value of i is one. So three of those equals three. We have L, V, I, 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 L being 50, V being five, and three i's equal to three. So that adds up to 58. And then in example three, we have this string here, which equals to 1994. M is equal to 1000, C, M is equal to 900. So C being 100 and M being 1000, that equals 900. So that's something to take into consideration. X, C, is equal to 90 so x is 100 so x is 10 and c is 100 so that is equal to 90 as well so the very similar case to cm and then iv is equal to 4 so these are all very important cases which we need to take into consideration so in the example we said that m is going to equal a thousand in total so that's going to be a thousand it also said that cm is equal to 900 xc is equal to 90 and iv is equal to to four. So what can we deduce from this? Because we have a value here, C and M. In a normal case, if we have two values next to each other, we'd add them up. But for some reason, this case, we have to subtract them. It's the same with XC and IV. So the common pattern is that a smaller value is followed by a larger value. So we have a smaller value here, a larger value here. So we subtract the smaller value. Again, we have a smaller value here, a larger value here. So we subtract the smaller value and the same with IV. The only case where we don't subtract the value is if the left value is greater than the right value. So how we would solve this is we'd loop through, we'd look at the first value and the second value, and if this value here, the current value we're on, is greater than the next value, then we update, say, a total variable to this value, so we add 1000 to it. Now 100 becomes the current, we compare it to 1000. The current value we're on is less than the next value. So we subtract the current value from total. Then we move the current pointer along. Now the current is on 1000. We set the next pointer to 10. 1000 is greater than 10. And when the current value is greater than the next value, we add it on. So 900 plus 1000 is equal to 1900. Now we compare 10 and 100. 10 is less than 100. So we subtract it from the total. Then we just repeat the process. So we compare 100 with 1. 100 is larger than, so we update the total by adding 100 to it. So that's going to be 990. We move the pointer along, we compare 1 and 5. 1 is less than 5, so we subtract 1 from the total, which gives us 1989. And finally, our pointer gets to 5. The next value is not present, so we take 5 as a larger value, so we add it on to the total, giving us a total of 1994. And then we can return this value. So the time complexity for this algorithm is going to be O of one constant time. Now we are looping through all the Roman numerals within the string. So you would assume that it would be O N, but as stated in the question, it is guaranteed that S is a valid Roman numeral in the range of one to three, nine, nine, nine. Now, if we choose the value three, nine, nine, eight in Roman numerals, this is going to equal so in worst case scenario, time complexity for this is going to be O. So in worst case scenario, time complexity for this algorithm is going to be O of 11, where we have to loop through up to 11 characters, which is constant. And space for the solution is going to be O of 1 also. We're going to use some kind of object storage to map these values together, but because only a constant number of these values are used, it equates to O1 space. So let's write this out. Let's create the map in between the symbols and the integers. So i is going to be 1. Now let's define the total, which we can set initially at 0. Then let's loop through the string. So i is equal to 0, i is less than s dot length, i plus plus. Now let's extract the current and next value. And then like we said in the solution walkthrough, and if the current value is less than the next value, 
then we can subtract that current value from total. Else, if it's greater than the next, we can simply add it to total. And then we just need to return total at the end here. And there you go.